Hey Braxton, just wanted to put a name with the face. My name is Josh. I've been the one that's been talking to you about this Mini Cooper that we have right here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a video walk around for you so you guys will be able to see that. I just wanted to say thank you guys for reaching out to us. And I do apologize. It's taken me a little bit of time to do that. Um, when I said I was going to send you the video, I actually drove the Mini Cooper back up here. Ended up having to get another customer later on in the night. I didn't get home until about 9 o'clock. So I didn't have time or the daylight to be able to send you that video. Um, but right now, just wanted to put my face uh, with the name uh, Josh. So if you guys have any questions about this, just please let me know. And I'm going to post this to YouTube so you guys will be able to see it. So fun fact about this Mini Cooper 2 also, just before I let you know, this Mini Cooper was actually traded in for a Renegade. And this uh, this uh, parents that bought the Renegade, they're actually planning on keeping it for a couple years until their daughter starts to drive. Um, and they're going to give the Renegade to their daughter. So that's why they traded it in. So here it goes. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you this Mini Cooper. So this is the Mini Cooper. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a walk around on it right now, and then I'll go over a little bit more details and specs of it right here too also. Is the Countryman, so the Countryman, I'm pretty sure, I don't know too, too much about them, but I think they have the full size four doors inside of them. Uh, Mini Coopers are not my, <laughs> not my forte, but um, if you have any questions about before, um, you know, if you want me to get you more information, I would love to do that too also. Here's just a little mini walk around of it too also, and I'll go over. You know each door you know the front the back and everything so you can get all the information that you guys need before you guys uh come up here and take a look at it too also so but i'll start up here at the front of course you can tell that it's got the mini cooper logo up there in the front too also with the two wings that are on the side so this is what it looks like too also um but over here on you know the front panel just pulling the plan some dance dang scratches maybe anything that might be concerning to you guys so you guys will be able to see it um off the top of my head, I don't really see anything off the top of my head. It just needs to be cleaned uh, thoroughly. Over here, it looks like it's got a little bit of a, a white spot on here. But that looks like bird, bird feces. So uh, we'll uh, take care of that once we get up front to your, or once we, you know, we get it cleaned up for you guys. Um, up here in the front, there's kind of like two little drill holes right here. If you guys wanted to put a front license plate on here too, you can do that also. Um, sorry, I'm not pointing it out just right. I'm looking at the camera and looking at the <laughs> looking at the front thing at the same time. But underneath here, you do have the fog lights that are underneath here too, just to let you know. So if you guys ever need to, do the, need to use the fog lights, you know, later on or not when you're driving down late, um, you can use those fog lights. And you can tell there's no condensation up in front of these headlights too well, so, so you don't have to worry about any cracks or anything like that inside the headlights. So as for the front, where the front bumper is, maybe you might get some rock chips or anything like that. Just off the top of my head, I can, I can notice a couple things, just a minor, a um, couple little dents, and uh, not little dents, but little chips on the vehicle just to point them out to you too also it's not very noticeable unless you get very close to it um but as you're looking at it from far away it's pretty common you know getting it from if you're driving down a, or a gravel road or something like that or if you're on the highway even rock chips can come up and you know kind of scuff, scuff the paint just a little bit and that one's on that right there too also and there, there's a bug right there but you know just a couple little minor you know pieces on the mini cooper just to give you you know, up front hands up, I don't know if you guys are uh, really big and really concerned about that, but you know, it's always best just to point out just in case you guys are concerned about it. Um, there's also one, oh, no. Well, there's a very small one right here. So, and right there too also. So, I'm just gonna point out that to you guys. Also wanna come over here to the fender side. Um, as you can tell on the wheels that are right here, off the top of my head, I don't see any scuffs on this wheel right here. Um, just so you know there is no scuffs on here as of the tires the tires got really good tread so you got a lot of life left on it as you can tell from the you know where my finger is sitting inside there okay now here on the fender right here there is a little bit of a scrape that's right there i just wanted to point that out to you guys too also um going around this too also off the top of my head i don't really see anything else that would be you know too too concerning to you guys um off the top of my head here's another little scuff that's right here too also now i know i'm pointing out all these uh dents you know these little rock chips and stuff like that but it is a seven year old vehicle so it's gonna have some of that sort of stuff on there and you got pretty low mileage on there too also um so it's been it's been overall taken care of it's not been beat up it's not been anything i did check the carfax 
Um, it was a uh, it was a two owner vehicle too also. Um, no accidents or damage reported on the Carfax, so it's not been any wrecks or anything like that. And here is the VIN number so I can get you a good close up to that right there too also. And as you can tell, the window is a little bit dirty that's on there and I do apologize about that. Um, but as far as to my knowledge, it might change when I get inside, but I don't see any rock chips. I don't see any cracks or anything right there on the uh, windshield. So we'll come over here to the side view that's underneath here, or side view, excuse me. And as far as this window, I don't see any cracks. Of course, it is just dirty like I get. Like I said, I do apologize about that. I'll have to get this cleaned up actually as soon as I get done with this video. Um, but over here on the side right here, pointing out from the, uh, you know, the side door where the driver side door will be, the one thing I could see that might be, you know, it's very, very buffable is just this. Well, actually, I lost it. I'm sorry. It's right here where my thumb is. It's very, very buffable. It's just showing a little scuff mark that's right there, but that can easily be taken care of with a buff machine. And other than that, on that side, um, on this side door, I don't see anything else that would be concerning to you guys. Yeah, it's just a piece of dirt. Sorry, I'm just thoroughly looking it over so I can help you guys out. You know, there is a small little scuff that's right here. So, apologize I didn't get that in there earlier, but it's hard to see some of these stuff when it's just, uh, you know, peeking out off the top of your head. But this is the side mirror that's right there too also. So the side mirror, um, you know, is in good shape too also. Uh, just to let you know, no cracks or anything like that. Over here on this side, this is the back uh, driver, uh, driver side uh door so this is for your you know your full size four door that's right here too also here's just a little detailed information about it too also and you can see the warranty information over there to the left um the you know the estimated mileage which i think it's got just a little bit more than that not like not over not over 50 or 60 000 miles on there um but it's got unleaded you know uh six or four cylinder engine inside of there and this is just letting you know what kind of warranty that you do get on it too also and as far as the window goes, there's no cracks, dents, dings, you know, scratches on the window at least. Now over here on the uh, driver's side passenger door, um, what I have is I can, something that is noticeable to you guys, there is a little kind of like a, a scuff mark maybe where somebody dented it on the, um, you know, bumping out, maybe bumping into another car or something like that. So if that's something that you guys are very concerned of, there is that little piece that's right there. And just wanted to point that out to you guys too. I'm gonna come over here to the back side where the gas cap is too also. Oh, and by the way, on that piece right there, that's the only thing that I noticed that's on there. Um, but over here, I'm gonna to go to the back piece where the gas cap is. Also, just to let you know, on this one little window that's right here, there is no dance dings, scratches, or anything like that that's on there. Um, and as far as the scuff, I don't know if I can tell or if you can tell on this side, but there is a little bit of a white little part that's right there on the where the black part of the fender is too also. Just wanted to point that out to you guys also. Um, just a bunch of bug, bug tree sap stuff around this little area too. Um, tires are matching too also. They're Goodyear tires, um, but this is the wheel that's on there too also. As you can tell, the wheel has no scuffs on it or anything like that. And also the tire tread length is gonna be the same exact on the front one because it's the same tires. So all four of your tires are gonna be matching tires that are on this. So come back to the tail light. As you can tell, the tail light's not busted or anything like that. Um, so it's still got been taken care of and there's no actual condensation that's inside these tail lights either. So you're not seeing any dripping of the lights or anything. Cause you know, those are expensive uh, fixes to take care of. Now I'm gonna go to the full back that's on this one. As you can tell on the back glass right here, I have lots of playing there. I apologize about that. But um, back glass has not been chipped, damaged, broken, or anything like that. So just wanted to give you a fair warning. Heads up on that one. It's it's in good condition. And on the back, as I can tell off the top of my head, I don't see anything on this, where this countryman part says right here. Don't see anything that you would be concerned about on this little area right here. Now, when we come down here, I don't know if this is just good. I think this is... I don't want to really touch it, but it looks like bird crap, and you can uh, be able to take care of that if you needed to, um, just clean that up. And underneath this little part where the where you open the trunk too also, this part's just a little bit dirty. So if, as I wipe this stuff off, it'll be able to you know, wipe off just easily. Yeah, it just needs a thorough deep cleaning on there, so I do apologize it is dirty, but 
I kind of just grabbed it, wanted to get this as done quick as I can for you guys. Um, also in the back back here, as you can tell, that's where your license plate would go right there. I'm gonna go ahead and open the trunk for you guys too. Also, be completely honest, but you have no clue where to open the trunk. <laughs> here this is full of styles uh trunk space that's right here too also in the countryman and as you can tell it does have like a little cover so if you need to cover some valuables underneath here as that comes down or as the uh trunk comes down that comes down too also and covers the back so you are able to um cover your valuables in the back now that's very detachable with these just these two little hooks that are on the side right here just click those off and you'll be able to take it out very easily now underneath here, you got a little bit of extra storage space for the vehicle. This actually pops out too, also. And it's got the uh, the original, I guess, equipment in the back too, also. That back right there. All right, we'll put this up here in just a second. Sorry about that. And over here on the tail light, as you can tell, there's no condensation on this one too, also like I just went over. Um, so it's not got no cracks or leaks or anything like that. Also over here on this side right here, you got the other side panel window right here, which has not been chipped or anything. I'm sorry. Do see a very, very small chip that is right on this little area right here. Um, just wanted to open that. It looks like it's already been filled though. So there's no worry about that. It's not gonna do any more cracking or anything like that. Now over here on the side panel, I don't see anything that you would might be interested in too also. Um, that would be concerning to you. Um, like I said, just needs a thorough cleaning that's on there. And as you can tell on the panel right here, you know, it is a little bit white right here too also from where the, uh, the fender is. And all this Mini Cooper right here too also. Um, same wheel as you can tell, it's no scuff or anything like that. And it's also got the Goodyear tires on it, so the tires are going to match the tread length too on there. Here's the back passenger side door. And on this one right here, you know, it was in pretty flawless condition right here. One thing I could see is this little scratch mark. See, I don't even know if you can see it on my camera. 